What up, bro? Welcome back to Carter's Way, where we do health and fitness videos. And I thank you for coming back to the channel to watch another interview. So, let's see what he had to say. Alright, you know where I'm at. I got you another interview, and I'm with, what's your name? Daniel Palladino. Okay, you were born and raised in Staten Island? Yes. So, you work out. Uh, how long you been working out for? Uh, I've been working out maybe for about four years. And how many times a week do you think you work out? Uh, four. Four at times a four. week? At least four. That's solid. Maximum. Um, so what even motivates you to work out? Uh, my fitness, health, I like to look good. And uh, what really motivates me is like going with a friend to the gym. So that's what really motivated me to go and um, reaching my goals. I respect that. Yeah. Do you follow any type of diet or you just do your thing? Uh, I do. So I've been trying to cut on calories and every morning I eat oatmeal and uh, scrambled eggs, two eggs, two scrambled eggs. Okay. Um, do you feel a difference, let's say, where you go out to eat or Wendy's or something to where you are eating healthy? Do you feel a difference in your energy? Yes, 100%. Okay. Um, I feel way more when I eat healthier and I eat lighter, I feel way more that I could do more after I eat. But if I eat Wendy's or anything like that, like I feel bloated every single time, no matter how much I eat. I can eat four chicken nuggets and I'll feel bloated. <laughs> I feel you. I swear to God. Yeah. Um, a little personal question. What do you look for in a life partner? Ooh, a life partner. That's a tough one. <laughs> uh, you know, being able to have a good conversation. Uh, Number one. <laughs> definitely have a good conversation. Have like very good energy always when I'm around, you know, like that feeling every time you know when you meet somebody but for the first time always have that feeling and uh traveling i don't know it's tough it's a tough question dude. Nah, let's <laughs> leave it at that i respect that answer i like it you know uh just another little personal question do you believe in god by any chance yes i do okay do you uh do you know he's just there or has he transformed you in any way uh i would say he transformed me in a way like like you know, made me a better person, made me realize, like, certain things. My keeps friend, you in line type of Keeps thing? me in line, 100%. Keeps me in line. My friend's uh, very big in, into Christianity. He became, like, a, um, actually a missionary, like, so. Yeah. And, well, like, I'm big on Christianity, I'm and I respect whoever you're talking about, <laughs> if he ever hears this. Um, would you say you are who you are because you were born like that, or you could change and be whoever you want to be? Uh, I think you could change and be whoever you want to be. 100%. I think that you're born a certain way, but I feel like people limit themselves because they think, oh, uh, you know, I look like this or I, you know, I'm not able to talk well, I'm shy. I feel like you could change all that and be somebody that you really want to be. Amen. Yeah. Um, if you had to pick one, would you rather your physical health or mental health? Hmm. Probably mental. Why do you say that? Uh, mental because you know I guess it's a little bit harder you know like growing up like you know everybody gets in that stage you know you get depressed and then all mm -hmm. this other stuff and then as you uh, I feel like you get over the mental after a while you know as long as you, you focus on self betterment so I feel like maybe working out actually is better okay I'm gonna change my answer maybe working out because the working out could change your mentality so alright I respect that one mm -hmm. uh, for my last question would you relive your whole life, but you got to lose all the lessons you ever learned? Or would you stay right here to keep everything you learned? Wait, ask that one more time. All right. Um, you could live your whole life over. Redo, you get a redo, but you lost all your lessons. Or you could stay right here and keep all the lessons you have learned. Keep all the lessons that I have learned. Stay here. I respect that. Yeah. Now, do you have like a valuable lesson you could give to the audience that, uh, whether it's working out, whether it's in life general? Uh, yeah, actually, I feel like, damn, I'm pressured now, so I can't think of it. Usually, I do, but um, I would say always try to improve yourself and be self betterment. Do self betterment, hundred percent, and uh, you know, just focus on yourself. Focus on making money and focus on your family. And, you know, focus on things that are going to help you in life, get you better. So don't keep your focus around. straight. That's keep the... your focus straight. Don't worry about anybody else around you. That's that's what I've learned. Put the blinders on? Put the blinders on straight up. The blinders got to be straight on. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, if you're looking, you know, if you're worrying about what everybody else is doing, 
And as long as it's, cold. you know, stop looking in the past. The past is the past, you know. You got to keep moving forward. Talk about, you know, anything that's going to help you in life. When it comes to stocks, real estate, uh, working out, all Ooh, that stuff. Oh, he just dropped a couple of gems. I hope you yeah. listened. Stocks, real estate, all that <laughs> stuff. You got to be talking about all that stuff. Cause that's really going to help you, you know, make money. That's right, brother. Yeah. All right, so that's the end of the interview. I really appreciate this brother uh, for doing this interview with me. He's got an electric skateboard. He's flying through the park, bro. It's crazy. But uh, you got an Instagram you want to give him? Uh, Instagram, Danny Pals, Daniel Paladino. You got a YouTube you want to give him? I don't have a YouTube right now, but... That's no problem. Uh, if you didn't hear that, I'm going to put his uh, Instagram in the description. And that's all I got for you today. And you know I'm going to see you with another one. So make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you with another one later. All right? Hit the bell for the notifications, baby. Let's go. You heard him. <laughs> yo, my guy. I loved your energy, yo, for real. And he came down the block with an electric skateboard like Marty McFly is up. <laughs> I was bugged out. Uh, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed the interview. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the bells, whatever, like the kids said. And uh, that's all I got for you today. So stay tuned. Shh.